Thank you very much. This is a great honor to be able to address to you today. Um, Gene-Centric Diagnostics is a personalized oncology company. Now, you've heard a lot about personalized medicine and precision medicine, and I often, the way people talk about it is as if it's something new. Now, those of us who have been doing this diagnostics for a long time and been in, in this field for a while know that personalized medicine has already had some tremendous accomplishments. And I always introduce my talk with a little bit about HIV, because when I started training, HIV was uniformly fatal. And over a 20 period of time, we've seen the emergence of so many drugs. But the docs wouldn't know how to use those drugs if it weren't for the diagnostics. So the drugs may get all the credit, but you really ought to listen to and hear about diagnostics. So we are a diagnostic company focused in oncology. Now, we're a different kind of diagnostic company in that we serve as a bridge, a bridge between research and the patient. We focus on building an evidence base of studies after studies to demonstrate that these tests will change the outcome for the patient. We, we are essentially the intel inside a pipeline of genomic tests guiding the use of drugs and improving the outcomes for the patient. Our first product is in lung cancer, but we have a pipeline of products to come. Now, our team is also very unique, and I'm really proud to talk about it. Our science, our initial science, comes from the Lineberger Cancer Center here at UNC, and doctors Chuck Peru and Neil Hayes are true pioneers and have brought to GeneCentric our first assays in lung cancer and head and neck cancer. But our science team is joined by our independent director, Arnie Levine, the discoverer of P53, the most common mutation in cancer. On the business side, we have a trio of former LabCorp executives with over 40 years of service at LabCorp. I always hate to say 40 years. It makes me feel really old. But we have a lot of experience and have brought over hun hundreds of tests to market. We've learned from our successes. We've really learned from our failures. And it's bringing all that knowledge about what builds a successful test, a test that gets adopted and used to the patient that makes GeneCentric unique. So what makes us, I keep saying we're unique, what makes us unique? Well, the traditional um, lab model, uh, the traditional diagnostic model is once the test is developed, a CLIA lab is built in order to deliver and provide access to the test and also the company builds a sales force. The, the challenge with that model is until you've demonstrated clinical utility, there's going to be minimal adoption of that test. And even if it is adopted, it's not going to get paid for. That's a pretty challenging way to run a lab. You offer tests and you don't get paid for it. So we are thinking differently and more considering that the asset is the IP, the IP plus the evidence that we can build that this test will change lives and change outcome for the patient. So all we do is what's in dark blue. We validate, we control the IP, we build evidence and more evidence that this can change the outcome. Everything else we consider non-core and we develop partnerships in order to make that happen. So how, how have we, what have we done in the last um, three years? We were founded in 2011. We've already validated and sublicensed our first test. It was sublicensed to LabCorp, who offers it on their menu as a test, HistoPlus. We're now validating our second lung cancer test with a 500 patient study, and results will be um, completed this year and published um, at the end of 2015. We're working on additional uh, new IP in head and neck cancer, and we also have new opportunities in other areas I'll be excited to tell you about next year. So before I close, I'd like to tell you about lung cancer. Lung cancer, it, there are more deaths from lung cancer than breast cancer, prostate, and um, colon cancer combined. A million cases worldwide. In the state of North Carolina, 
there were over 7,000 cases of lung cancer in 2012, and 22% of those cases had a diagnosis of not otherwise specified. That's pathologist speak for I don't know what it is. These are exactly the kind of patients that Histoplus can help today. Additionally, our, our tests in the future will tell us which patients will progress, who will respond to chemotherapy, who will get brain metastases, and I think you've heard of many of the new immunomodulating therapies. Our tests will be able to tell you who will respond to those as well. There's so much more I'd like to tell you about gene-centric, about lung cancer, about our business model, and about our pipeline. Please come and talk to us. Um, we'll, be, we'll be waiting for you at the end of the session. Thank you.